<coughs> so hi guys uh, welcome to the present session so in the session we are going to discuss about the research uh, ethics so which is the topic of the ug senet paper 1 the second unit that is the research aptitude fine so i hope my audio and video both these two are clear so before going into the main part of this uh, class here the one announcement is that so first of all welcome to the free live classes the complete course for the ug senet uh, paper 1 as well as the electronic science both these two was already started okay the detailed course was already started in the november month itself so the interested candidates may take the subscription uh, plan and uh, so in these live classes okay these are the live classes so if you take the subscription plan right now then you may watch the recorded videos also and you may join live in the upcoming classes fine so these are the different subscription plans here 1 month 3 month 6 12 and 24 months okay so out of uh, I mean you may take any one of the subscription plan based upon when you are planning to write the exam okay so my profile link an academy profile link as well as the subscription link both these two are provided in the description box of this video so you may check it out and uh, if you are planning to take the subscription plan then use my referral code that is aswinik so here you can check down my referral code as wynik then you will get a 10% discount on any one of the subscription plan okay and uh, one more thing is that the price is going to increase okay so before increasing the prices so take the subscription plan now itself okay so if you are planning to take in future okay and now coming to the present content of the video so we are going to discuss about the research uh, ethics here so all of you know that research ethics means at the time of doing the research work some ethics has to be followed so what are the re- what what are the ethics has to be followed and why these ethics has to be followed that we are going to see in this uh, video <coughs> so here ethics are the principles generally what is the meaning of ethics is that there are certain principles and certain guidelines that help us to do the things in a right way okay and uh, the benefit of observing the ethics and research is nothing but uh, it helps in promoting the uh, very good research and healthy research okay that means we are coming up with the innovative things okay which will be very much helpful to the uh, next research candidates who are going to take our research work as a reference so if our research work is very pure and genuine then whatever the next research work that is going to be happen uh, to my continuation that also will be in a genuine way okay next uh, the ethics will promotes the values okay which are essential to the collaborative work such as a trust accountability and mutual respect and the fairness and uh, ethics holds the researcher accountable to the public and uh, society so it is helpful in building the very good uh, research work okay and coming to the research ethic means it is application of some moral values and the professional codes in collecting the data and at the time of doing the survey we are going to collect the data or else at the time of doing certain type of experiments in the laboratory the collection of data will happens and after once collecting the data the way you are analyzing and the way you are reporting and the way you are giving the information to the public with respect to the research papers or research journals like that all these things must be as per the rules moral rules and the professional codes has to be followed okay in order to doing all these things if you follow the moral rules and the professional codes in all this process then you are perfectly following the research ethics okay hi roma kumari good evening next so while coming to the collecting the data it involves some ethical issues okay so you you may you may see that here those from whom information is collected or those who are studied by a researcher become the participants of the study okay that means <coughs> participants if you are a researcher then for your research work few participants will be there that means for your research work if you want to get any some data from the people okay if you want to get any some data from the people then the people who whom you are getting the data those people will comes under the participants of your study okay and 
anyone who collects the information they become the researcher fine if i am the researcher and if you are the participant means i am going to collect some information from you okay then i am the researcher and you are the participants so now after discussing about the researcher and the participants now few ethics has to be followed as per the participants point of view and few ethical issues are there as per the researcher point of view so now we are going to see both the two points ethical issues as per the participants and ethical issues as per the researcher fine so while coming to the participants collecting the information so your request for information may put pressure or create anxiety on a respondent respondent is also called as a participant don't get confused guys respondent and a participant both these two are same okay so if if you want to collect any some information from the participant okay let's take i am coming to you to collect some information from you which is very much a necessity for my research work so uh, if i am coming to you okay if i am approach to you to get the information uh, my request may sometimes put you people in the pressure or it may create some anxiety okay so such type of things may get you the wrong answers sometimes such type of things may get you the uh, wrong answers from the participants okay and research is required to improve the conditions and provide any piece of research is likely to help the society directly or indirectly so whatever the research work you are doing it must be helpful to the society either directly or the indirectly fine and uh, whatever the data you want to collect from the participants if it is not relevant to your research work then you are simply wasting the respondents or participants time if you are wasting those time then your research work comes under the unethical okay next coming to the seeking consent so seeking consent means uh, you have to take the permission first okay that means if you want to collect the information from the participants or the respondents without their permission you should not collect the information without their knowledge you should not collect the information it is comes under the unethical seeking consent is nothing but you have to get the permission from the respondents then only you have to collect the data okay that is the seeking yeah hi andrews good evening next one providing incentives providing incentive means giving some gifts to the respondents to get the answer such type of things comes under the providing incentives that means uh, to your respondents to your participants uh, you can give the incentives okay it might be the money or it might be the gift you can give not a problem but you have to give the incentives after collecting the information are you understanding you have to I mean you can give the incentives to them after collecting the information from them then it is ethical before collecting the information you should not offer any type of money or gifts or incentives to the to your respondents it is unethical are you is is that clear so after collecting the information why it is ethical because they are spending their time for your research work understand they are giving their time for your research work so for that one you have to give something okay that is a ethical next seeking sensitive information so sometimes some information might be very sensitive and very confidential for example the police people who are doing the crime uh, detective investigation so in that case uh, the police people are going to through some people to collect the data and the respondents who are going to give the data that is very sensitive and uh, confidential why because if sometimes the data collected by the so and so person if the person name is came out then there is a threat to that person okay so it must be very careful and whatever the information you are collecting from the respondents the respondents or the participants data their personal data must be very confidential you have to put okay you should not open their names okay so that is the seeking sensitive information fine and it is not unethical to ask such questions to provide that you tell your respondents and the type of information you are going to ask clearly and frankly and give them sufficient time 
that means whatever the questions you want to ask to your respondents and whatever the information you want to get from your respondents you just uh, frankly tell them okay you just frankly tell them to the participants or the respondents that i want to get so and so information and i want to ask so and so questions to you okay and give them time don't force them and then give the time okay and responding to your questions or not responding it's their interest okay we should not force them next the possibility of causing harm to the participants so just like i told that some informations coming from the uh, or getting from the participants it leads to harm to the participant okay so what is the meaning of harm means it is not only the life threat the meaning of harm means discomfort to them anxiety harassment uh, invention of a privacy okay and demeaning and dehumanizing procedures all these things comes under the harm so you must keep their name and their personal details very confidential okay if you think that uh, the respondent is will be in the harm if his or her name come out okay so it is a thing and maintaining the confidentiality so here sharing information about a respondent with others for purposes other than the research is unethical sometimes you need to identify your study population to put your findings into the context in such a situation you need to make sure that at least the information provided by the respondents must be kept anonymous that means whatever the information you got from the so and so person you have to keep it as a unknown name anonymous okay but because to maintain the confidentiality and to protect them from the uh, any type of harms or the threats okay and so whatever the points we discussed up to now all these points are regarding the participants point of view and coming to the ethical issues relating to the researcher point of view the first point is that avoid the biasings biasings means at the time of doing the research your interest should not be I mean you should not manipulate the data okay you should not manipulate the data whatever the data you are getting from the experiments or from the survey you have to directly put the data don't manipulate the data that is nothing but you have to avoid the biasing and next provision or deprivation of the treatment that means uh, so i mean sometimes it is is it ethical to provide a study population with an intervention treatment that has not been conclusive proven effective or beneficial okay that means uh, without testing anything don't come with the conclusion you have to test understand you have to test whatever the hypothesis or whatever the research problem you are having once after testing then only you have to come with the proper conclusions okay next using inappropriate research methodologies we are having the different types of research methodologies so to your research work which type of research methodology will helpful you have to know that one first okay you should not apply the different different research type different types of research methodologies to your research work okay use the appropriate research methodology to your research work next incorrect reportings so whatever the reports you find out from the people or from the experimental analysis okay doing the changes or the slants okay uh, to make your research problem highlight okay such type of things also comes under the unethical next inappropriate use of information inappropriate use of information means whatever the data you collected at the time of doing your research you have to use the data only for your research work other than that research work you should not use the data in any other means fine so it is comes under the inappropriate use of information and it is also comes under the unethical okay so these are all the different points i mean while coming to the ethical issues of the participants we are having collecting the information and seeking consent collecting the information means uh, you should not pressure the participant you have to take the permission from the participant you have to provide the incentive only after collecting the information and uh, you you have to I mean whatever the information you are getting that information must be confidential and uh, uh the participant should not be harmed okay there is a possibility of participant should be harmed but they should not be harmed and if any harm is there to the participant then you have to uh, you should not reveal the personal details or name of the 
participants. Coming to the researcher point of view, avoiding the biasings, that means sir, you should not put your own uh, uh, interest, okay, in the data, I mean you should not manipulate the data, whatever you are getting and provision or deprivation of the treatment after completing your test then only you have to come up with the conclusions and the next one is uh, using inappropriate research methodology means uh, depending to your research work you have to properly use the perfect uh, research methodology okay otherwise you should not use a uh, different different research methodologies you should not do the incorrect reportings okay incorrect reportings are also comes under the unethical and inappropriate use of information means whatever the information you collected for your research work you have to use that information only for the research work okay you should not use for any other means okay so these are the different different research ethics coming to the researcher point of view as well as the participants point of view is that clear guys so just in a brief i wanted to tell about the research ethics okay i hope uh, it will be helpful to you for your preparations okay so we will meet in the next session with some different uh, topic guys okay so it is the ending of the session okay so thank you guys thank you very much for your participation and we will meet in the next session